Parshas Vayetze, a short vart for this week's Parsha. It's quite famous. Leo names her son Yehuda. Ha-pa'am oides Hashem. This time, I'm going to thank Hashem. Songs, thanking Hashem. How incredible. But everyone hones in on the same question. What was so great? We know the Gemara Brachas teaches us that she was the first person to thank Hashem. What's so great about her thanks? Everyone wonders. So the Ksav Sefer comes along and he explains, you know what was so great? That she thanked Hashem, not just for the big things, but even for the small details. As the Gemara teaches us that anyone who says Hallel every single day is a blasphemer. Blasphemer? Sounds beautiful to say Hallel each and every day. The Ksav Sefer says no. Because you're saying Hallel every day, you're remembering Yitzhiyaz Mitzrayim. You're remembering Hashem does great miracles. But wait. What about the teeny small miracles? You use the bathroom. You're breathing. You're walking. You're talking. You're wearing clothing. You have a job. You have a wife. You have children. Every million and myriads of details that happens each and every day by praising God in such a grand fashion. You're forgetting the minute details. Leah comes along. Maybe other people take it for granted. But I do not. Even for something which is perhaps at some level mundane. I have another child. No. And the Maram Sheikh takes it one step deeper. You know what was so great? That every single time she called her little child. Every time she says, You come here. Yehuda, can you get me this? Yehuda, where are you? Each and every time she'll be remembering this incredible blessing. Every time, how many times a day does one call a child? She'll be remembering the greatness, the thanks that she owes to Hashem. So hopefully, as we walk away from Parshas Vayetze, we'll recall the grand events in our life, the small events in our life. We'll take a moment and think, thank you Hashem, not just in words, not just in thought, but in actions, to think and to contemplate each and every day, what could I thank Hashem for today? And even on the small and seemingly minute details, Rav Aryeh Finkel said one year in Rosh Hashanah, you want to know, can you daven for bakashes? Yes. But you know what you should daven for? For bread and milk to be in your fridge. Bread and milk? That's what I should daven for? Said Rav Aryeh Finkel, yes. Because we think, Hashem, I need Barnasa, I need Shaduchim, I need children. Correct. But what about to have something to eat? That's not the same loving father that gave it to you. The same Hashem that could give you a shidduch, that could give you a child, that could give you good health and give you barnasa. He's as well the one that provides you on each and every day. And hopefully each and every day, like the Maram Sheikh says, like she called her son Yehuda each and every day, recalling the greatness of Hashem. Well, as well, whether it's when we say Maidim each and every day, whether it's when we wake up in the morning and we say Maidani, we'll take a moment to recognize, wow, Hashem. Thank you so very much. Have a great Shabbos.